This is San Diego. And this is San Diego. Years of drought have turned the vegetation into dry brush ripe for wildfire. Low-growing brush, native to San Diego, is called coastal sage scrub and chaparral. It's home to many rare and endangered plants and animals. In fact, San Diego has more sensitive species than anywhere in the continental United States. Fire is a natural part of the ecology of this environment. The vegetation has adapted to periodic burning and needs fire to regenerate. So fire is usually not a problem until it comes close to homes. In these canyons, a lot of the vegetation has not burned for sometimes a hundred years or more. Some of it's so thick, it poses a threat to homes. You can avoid becoming a victim of a wildfire by creating a proper, defensible space around your home. Having this space works to slow the fire and gives firefighters time and space. Brush management consists of two zones. You have zone one from the back of your house to where the slope goes down and that's your normal backyard ornamental irrigated landscaping. For new constructions, it's a minimum of 35 feet. For existing structures, it may be more, might be less. Zone two starts on the slope portion of your property and adds up to 100 feet for the two zones. For new structures, it's the next 65 feet. This area has no permanent irrigation and irrigation from zone one shall not run off into zone two. This zone is crucial because it's the first line of defense when wildfire comes up the side of a hill. To create this potential safety net, follow the city's brush management guidelines and regulations. First thing you want to do is stake the property lines and both zones clearly so everyone working on it knows where the boundaries are. Now, let's deal with zone one. In existing landscaping, prune trees a minimum of 10 feet away from the structure. You need to have separation between trees, and that may mean removing some trees if there are too many, and prune all shrubs down to less than four feet. Now zone two. Go out there and remove any dead wood and dead brush from the area, but be sure it's dead. Scratch the bark or skin of the plant to test for green. Remember, native plants may look dead, but they're just dormant in summertime bundle and carry it out. Dragging dead wood will kill small plants and may lead to erosion problems. For small plants, don't cut any of them that are less than two feet high, except weeds and annual grasses, which you can cut to two inches. Now, you should have a pretty good idea of what your living plants look like. Before you take the next step, you have to know what kind of plants you have. The first priority should be to identify the invasive non-native plants like tobacco plant. Then native species, such as coastal sage scrub, lemonade berry, toyon, sometimes called Christmas berry, sumac, baccarus, or what you might know as coyote bush. Now you can go about thinning and pruning the vegetation. Thinning means providing separation between plants by cutting down some of them that are more than two feet high. Cut those down to six inches above the ground without disturbing the roots, but be selective you must retain 50% of the vegetation that's over two feet high. So mark the larger plant groupings that are going to be kept. A good rule of thumb is to separate plant groupings by half the width of the grouping. For instance, here's a shrub group that's about 10 feet by 10 feet. You're gonna keep this, but you want five feet of separation around it. Be conservative as you work at thinning. You don't wanna to remove too much and cause erosion. Now we have to single out the eucalyptus tree. It's a non-native plant and should be removed. But in eucalyptus woodland areas where these common Southern California trees dominate and form a closed canopy, the rules are different. All trees three inches in diameter or less and at chest high should be taken out. So once you've decided which trees you're gonna remove and which ones you're gonna leave alone, just go for it. As you prune, do it from the bottom up, never from the top down, and take about 50% of the smaller branches. You should be left with a tree in an umbrella shape, and you should be able to see through the lower half of the plant. Let's talk about large trees. 
Prune the lower branches so you have at least six feet of clearance from the ground. If there are shrubs under or near the tree, prune up to three times the height of the shrub. Here's a shrub about two feet height under a tree. You want to prune the tree to three times two, six feet from the ground. If it's a three foot shrub, prune the tree nine feet from the ground. And now you've got to clean it all up again. Haul out the clippings and branches and again be careful not to damage small plants. When there's new growth, nip it in the bud. And you're done for now. But it'll grow back and you'll have to do regular maintenance to keep it functioning right. If Zone 2 is adjacent to your property and is owned by the City of San Diego and you want to conduct brush management work, you'll need to contact Park and Recreation Open Spaces Division to obtain a right of entry permit. For more information on brush management, you can also go to the Fire Rescue Department website.